While these animals might not be big by dinosaur standards, you have to admit that they're still pretty big compared to their modern day descendants. Here are 20 of the biggest Cenozoic land animals. Before I begin the video, let me explain how this countdown will work. The animals will be ranked by either length or height, and weight will be counted depending on the situation. Now, let us begin the video. Number 20, Epicyon. While this dog might be small compared to the other animals that will appear on the list later, it is still the biggest dog that prehistory ever saw. The biggest species of these Miocene dogs was Epicyon Hedini, if I'm pronouncing that right, which was about 200 and 300 pounds and it was about 5 foot long. This makes Epicyon bigger than fellow North American prehistoric canine, the Dire Wolf, which is around 95 through 150 pounds and it was about 4 foot long. Now keep that in mind, a Dire Wolf is almost the same size as a Grey Wolf, so Epicyon is a pretty big dog. Number 19, Nagdong Tiger. While people might know the saber-toothed cat and the American lion, those two cats weren't exactly the biggest cats in prehistory. Now, would you be surprised that the title belongs to a tiger? A Nagdong Tiger was found in the Sunlanda region of Indonesia. Well, while there have only been seven bones of the cat, experts estimate that this cat to be seven feet long and three foot tall and weighed up to 1,040 pounds. That makes this, this cat bigger than the Siberian tiger, the current biggest cat today. Number 18, Megaloceros. When it comes to deer, most people think of a white-tailed deer or a spotted deer from India. When it comes to the biggest deer today, people usually think about either a moose or an elk. But the biggest deer that ever lived was Megaloceros or the giant Irish elk. These deer had roamed all over Eurasia during the Ice Age, along with woolly mammoths, rhinos, cave lions, and Neanderthals. Now Megaloceros was about 7 feet tall, but its antlers were about 12 feet long from tip to tip and weighed up to 88 pounds together. Now these antlers is what made Megaloceros famous. The Irish elk have appeared in movies like Lord of the Rings and games like Ark Survival Evolved. Number 17, Quincana. Okay, Quincana might have not been the biggest croc in the Cenozoic era compared to others like Graposuchus, Raposuchus, and Purusaurus, but it is the biggest land croc that ever lived, and that's what this list is about. Quincana was one of Australia's Ice Age megafauna that terrorized the landscape, along with another fellow predator on this list. Quincana was about 5 to 6 feet tall, 20 feet long, and weighed up to 400 pounds. I wonder how Steve Irwin would have dealt with a croc like this. Number 16, Megalania. Quincana might have been one of the predators that roamed Australia during the Ice Age, but Megalania was king of the prehistoric outback. This massive monitor fed on giant marsupials and birds and put the fear in early Aboriginal people. Megalania is said to believe to carry a venomous bite like his modern day counterpart, which would have helped him take down the larger prey at that time. Megalania is said to be 12 to 23 feet long and weighing up to 4,280 pounds. It's no wonder why Megalania holds the title as the largest land reptile that ever existed. Number 15, Octotherium. Now bears are the biggest predatory mammals today. The current biggest bear today is the polar bear, which is about four feet tall on all fours, seven to nine feet tall when standing up, and weighing up to 992 pounds. But did you know that bears used to be bigger than that? Octotherium is said to be the biggest bear in history. It's also said to be the biggest mammalian predator that ever lived. These bears can be found in South America, right where their modern-day relative can be found. The spectacle bear. Octotherium is said to be 11 feet tall when standing up and weighing up to 3,500 pounds. Number 14. Gigantopithecus. To re-quote John Goodman's character Bill Randa, monsters do exist. Gigantopithecus is basically the real King Kong, but instead of being related to Gorilla, Gigantopithecus' closest relative is the orangutan. Now, there's a theory that Gigantopithecus is still alive as the legendary cryptid Bigfoot, even though it went extinct around 100,000 years ago. Gigantopithecus was about 9 feet tall and weighed up to 1,000 pounds, making it the largest primate that ever lived. 
Number 13, Elephant Birds. Everyone knows the famous prehistoric land bird, Dain Ornis, or the Giant Moa. While as big as the Giant Moa was, it was so small compared to the Elephant Bird. They are a prehistoric bird species that can be found in the country of Madagascar, and they were first found an egg that was first discovered between 1830 through 1840. Now that egg was about 13 inches long and weighed up to 22 pounds. Imagine the size of that omelet. The biggest species of these birds was called Forombe Titan, which literally translates as Big Bird. It was about 10 feet Feet tall and weighed up to 1800 pounds. By the way, did you know that Marco Polo mentioned hearing stories of these giant birds during his journey to the east during the 13th century? Number 12, Deodon. This prehistoric pig once roamed the badlands of North America where it could have used its massive size to tackle prey like prehistoric rhinos and horses. Deodon belonged to a group called Entelodons and it was the biggest member of its kind. While Entelodons might have earned the nickname Hell Pigs, but De Deodon earned the nickname the Terminator Pig. Deodon was about 5 feet tall, 9 feet long, and weighed up to 2200 pounds. Now Deodon's skull alone was about 3 feet long. This makes Deodon having one of the largest skulls on this list. Number 11, Jose Fortaqueza. Now, the largest rodent today is the Capybara, but the largest rodent that was ever found was Jose Fortaqueza. Now, like the Capybara, it was found in South America, but only in Uruguay. Jose Fortaqueza had to fight off predators like Tactical Smilus, Terror Birds, and possibly Pyramid Smilodons. Jose Fortaqueza was about 4 foot tall, 9 feet long, and weighed up to 1,763 pounds, and it had a bite force that was about 3,150 psi. That's three times more powerful than a Bengal tiger's bite. This rat rightfully earns the title of Ratzilla. Number 10, Doctacurus and Glyptodon. Before becoming the small state animal of Texas, armadillos used to be giants that were big as a Volkswagen Beetle. And after many painstaking research, and after many painstaking research, I decided that these two should share the ring, since they both share the same body structure, and they were, are almost the exact same size. Dr. Kyrus was about 12 feet long, 5 feet tall, and weighed up to 5,070 pounds while Glyptodon was about the same height, but it was 11 feet long and weighed up to 4,400 pounds. Did you know that their shell is so huge, it was actually mistaken as a prehistoric tur turtle, and because of the massive size, early hunters would have killed them to use their shells to protect themselves during harsh weathers. Number 9, Diperlodon. Now, wombats are known for their cute, short, squat bodies and chubby little legs, but their ancestors wasn't so small. Diperlodon is one of Australia's biggest megafauna that roamed the prehistoric outback along with Megalania and Quincana. Diprolodon could have used its size to defend itself from predators like Thacolil and possibly younger Megalania. Now, Diprolodon was about 6 feet tall, 9 feet long, and weighed up to 6,700 pounds. That's about the same size as a white rhino. Number 8, Hippopotamus Gorgops. Hippos today are the third largest land animals in the world. But during the Cenozoic era, there was a species of prehistoric hippo that could have made it the second largest land mammal in Africa. Hippopotamus gorgops was a prehistoric hippo that roamed Pliocene and Pleistocene Africa, and later Pleistocene Europe. Now, they could have a similar lifestyle to their modern day relatives, and if they did, their eye stalk like orbits that were above their skulls could have helped them see out the water much more clear and better. Hippopotamus gorgops was about 14 feet long, 6 feet tall, and weighed up to 8,600 pounds. Number 7, Elasmotherium. This prehistoric rhino used to roam the snowy plains of Russia and Central Asia, and is one of the biggest rhinos that ever lived. Elasmotherium was so big, it was almost the same size as the woolly mammoth. Unlook other rhinos, Elasmotherium had his horn on top of its head, giving it the nickname the Siberian Unicorn, which the purpose of the horn is still unknown. Although some think that it could have been used for defense or mating rights. Elasmotherium was about 6 feet tall, 20 feet long, and weighed up to 8,000 pounds. Plus, the horn itself is said to be 6 feet long. That's the same size as the average human. I hate to be the poor, the poor guy getting pale by that thing. Number 6. The Syrian Camel. Everyone knows camels as a single or double hump spitting 
wanderers of a desert. While they are big enough for a human to ride, did you know that there was once a giant camel that was big enough for three people to ride on? The Syrian camel was found in the country where it gets its name from. But it was found west of the Syrian desert, even though there's very little bones of this camel. Experts say that this camel was 9 feet tall at the shoulder and 13 feet tall in total. Number 5. Megatherium. Sloths are known for their small size, their slow sluggish movement, and hanging upside down on the trees. But during the Ice Age, there was a sloth that was big as an African elephant. It rightfully earned the name Megatherium, which means big beast. Fossils of this elephant-sized sloth can be found in South America, along with other South American megafauna like Smilodon, Arctotherium, and Glyptodonts. Megatherium was about 20 feet long, 8 feet tall when all fours, 12 feet tall when standing up on its hind legs, and weighed up to 5,000 to 11,000 pounds. By the way, did you know that Megatherium's claws alone is about 6 inches long, which they use to pull down branches or defend itself against predators? You know, like that one scene in Walking with Prehistoric Beast? Number 4. The Steppe Mammoth. Meet the ancestor of the famous woolly mammoth. The Steppe Mammoth earned its name because it was found in the steppe terrains of Eurasia, most notably in Siberia, where the fossils were first found. It predates its famous descendant 600,000 years. But like the woolly mammoth, the Steppe Mammoth is also said to believe to have wool too. Due to its environment, the steppe mammoth might have been the third largest elephant in general, but it's the number one largest mammoth species in total. The steppe mammoth was around 13 feet tall, 23 feet long, and weighed up to 22,000 pounds. That's almost the same height and weight as a double-decker bus. Number 3. Dinotherium. This is one of the first biggest elephants to appear on the planet. It was known for its upside down short tusks, which could have been used for scraping bark off trees, lowering branches, or digging up roots. Fossils of this huge bizarre pachyderm can be found in Africa and Eurasia, and they managed to live throughout the middle Miocene through the early Pleistocene. Dinotherium is about 13 feet tall, 23 feet long, and weighed up to 30,000 pounds. Did you know that? The ancient Greeks once thought that this elephant skull actually belonged to the legendary Cyclops. And who can blame them? The middle of the skull does look like it has one eye, and so does the lack of upper tusk. So, it was hard for them to tell what a prehistoric elephant looked like. Number 2. Paraceratherium. This rhino was the first mammalian giant to appear on the Earth. It made its debut during the Oligocene epic, and the fossils were first found in the Balkans, then later in China. Mongolia, India, Pakistan, and Kazakhstan. It used to go by other names like Balukutitherium and Idrotherium. Now, Paratherium size did give it some recognition, like in Ark, and most notably, walking with prehistoric beasts. Paratherium was 15 feet tall, 24 feet long, and weighed up to 33,000 through 44,000 pounds. Now, that's about the same weight as four Af African male elephants. Because of its massive size, experts say that a full-grown Paraceratherium didn't have to worry about the predators of the time. Now before I get to the number one creature, here is an honorable mention. Now the biggest Cenozoic land predator is said to be Antrosarchus, but it's only known for its 32 inch skull. And because of this, it makes it an honorable mention. Sorry big guy, until more fossils of you are discovered, you are an honorable mention. Number one. Asian Straight Tusked Elephant Is anyone surprised that an elephant took the number one spot? There's many species of this elephant, both big and small, but we're focusing on the big one, and that is Paleoloxodon amdicus, which the first fossils were found in India and later Japan. Now despite the name, Paleoloxodon's closest ancestor is the African Bush Elephant. Paleoloxodon was about 17 feet tall, 24 feet long, and weighed up to 48,000 pounds. Imagine how many elephants that is. By the way, a single thigh bone of this pachyderm is about 5 feet tall by itself. Think about that. So congratulations, big guy. You earned the title of the biggest Cenozoic land animal of all time. 